Is now the time to swap your pancakes? I think the word pancake is more of an American expression, although maybe it's become global. It refers to pancakes, waffles, crepes, dough fried in a pan and covered in the United States with maple syrup, jam elsewhere in the world, often delicious. But pancake swap is an exchange, a place where you can swap and barter and otherwise get value for some of your coins. There's a lot of technical jargon that goes around the architecture, the creation, the backbone as it was of pancake swap. But let me try to see if I can just pull it down to the essence of what this new faddish popular site has become in the world of cryptocurrency. Essentially, coming off the Binance supply chain, what PancakeSwap enables you to do is with your existing coins, pulling them out of your wallet, what you're able to do is add them incrementally in small or large amounts to what's called a liquidity pool. What a liquidity pool enables you to do, essentially, is gain interest on your coins. One of the downsides of the cryptocurrency world is it doesn't really pay interest the way a, a deposit in a bank might. Pancake Swap, the decentralized finance medium, if you want to call it that, is where you can take coins, take your wallets, link them up and contribute those coins to these pools for which you're paid back in supplemental coins. What else accounts for the popularity of PancakeSwap? Well, there's a lottery there, so you can contribute some of your coins into the wallet, the large wallet, the liquidity pool of a lottery. And if your number is chosen, you get a certain percentage, what you've invested back as a, as a win, as a reward. It's not a pure lottery in that it's not billions that are given back to you, but it's a way, as with the other parts of Pancake Finance, to centralize a lot of coins that otherwise are sitting idle in crypto wallets. The problem with all cryptocurrencies in the last three months, Cake being uh, Pancake's crypto coin, so to speak, or the value of the, the, the medium, is that it's way down. As you can see, it's trading at about 712 down from about 1314 and that's a big price adjustment as with all if you track pancake swap you track ripple you track ethereum you're going to see the same adjustments at the same time it's frustrating to have an idea that is to earn you money as pancake swap is to do in effect it's the bank of the coin market and have it to be drop so much in value. The real world application of Pancake Swap is that it's fun, it's new, it's dynamic. It appeals to, I would say, younger investors who like to kind of have their cake and swap it too, if you forgive me that one. At the same time, keep in mind that it's not the biggest corporation out there. It's not small in global standards and that it is subject to whims and revisions. And also, it's tied into the Binance world. So you have to start into Pancake through Binance. And that in and of itself is some, there are risks involved with that. With all investments, let, let me remind you yet again, there is the asset side of the equation, which is subject to the whims of markets, they go up, they go down. We've seen pancake swap go way down. At the same time, there's a commercial application which can be exciting in the medium and long term. And you have to weigh those two factors 
in considering your participation in a, in a site, in an exchange, in a medium, in a decentralized financial operation such as PancakeSwap. That's all the time we have today on The Investment Advisor. I'm your host, Matthew Stevenson, in partnership with Ducas Copy TV. Remember, money can take care of you. It can't take care of itself.